Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. My name is Ayub Karim and welcome to my channel, Quran Inspires Me. I find that Allah bestows more respect and dignity and honor to the Prophet as compared to many people who have no respect and honor for the Prophet. By believing that the Prophet Muhammad fell unconscious, naked, and many other disrespectful narrations against the Prophet Muhammad. Please watch my previous video QRM073 for further details on this. Allah informs us in the Quran in Surah 68 verse 4 Wa in azim, And thou standest on an exalted standard of character. Now the question arises how did Prophet Muhammad achieve that exalted standard of character? Simple, but not easy. It takes more sacrifice than a lot of hard work. And these sacrifices and hard work depends on the subject called philosophy, whereby the foundational concept of philosophy is applied, which is called thinking, or to think, or better still, how to think. So, a reasonable question to ask is, how did the Prophet think? The narrative goes like this. The Prophet received revelation, the Quran, and only the Quran, nothing else. So the only divine precept that were going into the Prophet's mind were the verses of the Quran. Now, we must understand that the human mind is a very fragile entity which later becomes our strength or weaknesses as we grow older. So, we have to be on guard. We have to be aware of what goes into our heads. If we put in only good, then good will overflow from our brains. If we put into it garbage, rubbish and lies, then that is exactly what will overflow from our brains. I advise you to avoid this type of brain surgery at all cost. Step 1 Then you got step 2 Step 3 and finally, step 4. So, subject to what we take into our minds will become a very strong influencing factor in the way we think as we grow older. So, the Quran directed the manner in which the Prophet was thinking. He was always thinking in terms of the Quran, nothing else. This manner of thinking, that is, thinking in line within the context of the Quran, was the determining factor which influenced his life, about life, and towards life. His attitude in life to all people was one of compassion amongst many others because his attitude was guided by the way he was thinking. This attitude about his life directed his behavior. There were no faults in his behavior and this continuous behavior led to what we commonly refer to as our habits. The Prophet's habits were profound which means that his lifestyle was free of transgression. He did not transgress the bounds of the Quran. So Allah reveals according to Surah 33 verse 21, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ hasana. Verily, in the message of Allah, you have an excellent example. This lifestyle or habit of the Prophet, which was free of transgression, is what led to his impeccable conduct. This impeccable conduct is what became the character of the Prophet. And so Allah declares that the Prophet is on an exalted standard of character. So, working our way backwards, his exalted standard of character was developed by his impeccable conduct. Which impeccable conduct was derived from his profound habits? Which habits were developed by his behavior? Which behavior was directed by his attitude? Which attitude of his was influenced by his thinking? Which thinking was established by the Quran? Only the Quran and nothing else. There were no Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, there were no Sahih Sitta to influence his thinking. He had no other or any external sources that influenced his thinking. Although there were Jews and Christians living in his midst, he never allowed himself to be influenced by them and their scriptures. He stuck to the Quran and only the Quran and nothing else. So, there you have it. There was nothing else that influenced the Prophet except the Quran. 
So, why do we not follow this sunnah of the Prophet? The sunnah of the Prophet is in the matter of how did the Prophet think? Did the Prophet think only in terms of the Quran or was it in terms of the Quran and other scriptures? Is our thinking influenced only by the Quran or other scriptures as well? Until my next video, I am Ayub Karim from Quran Inspires Me. Understand the Quran to experience the revelation. Salamun alaikum. Peace be with you.